Hey, what's up, besties? It's your girl, E. Michelle, and I'm back with another video. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If this is your very first time, do me a favor and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell, which is right next to it, so that you will be notified whenever I make another video because I don't want you to miss that. Like, seriously. So, you guys saw on my channel before, I did the... Um, budget with me using my expense tracker basically showing you how I did it and I started showing you a little briefing of how I do it in Excel but I didn't really go into depth so I thought I would show you guys how I turn this system here this paper system into this here which is my spending and it just shows you everything from um, how much you're spending on each one in total and then breaks it up into a pie chart so you can really see where your money is going and you can adjust as you need to to actually create your budget because before you can create a budget you have to know what you're spending so that's why I'm tracking my expenses for three months so I can see what my normal expenditures are and things that I could back off on and then I can actually set a realistic budget for myself so that's just a little tip that I gave myself because I know that I spend 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 and I want to save 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 and there's no way for me to do it without knowing what I'm actually spending and when I'm spending it and how I'm spending it and all that jazz so if you're interested in seeing how I'm gonna go from this and put it into an Excel sheet then you guys stay tuned so the first thing that you guys notice on here is that I have different color highlighters and those all stand for different things which I have listed up here child care crafting gas car bills personal food groceries miscellaneous shopping my Etsy bill and my Etsy shop two different things um, but I like to keep track of them by that because it makes it easier for me when I get ready to put them into the computer as well as it lets me see just the kind of visual of where I'm spending my money at the most. Just looking at it, you can already tell bills are getting a lot of my coins. And then um, the next one would be like um, gas and car and food. Food was the next one. So yeah, that's my little key, my little legend that I have there. And it just helps for when you get to the computer, you can just enter them in by the actual categories that you set over here. And then everything is listed like that. So that is my paper system. I literally just write down the date, the amount and the category. I kind of use this sometimes if I have time to mark it, but most of the time this is all done. I, I rarely ever pay with cash with anything. And I'm not on the Dave Ramsey system yet, but I will be, so that's going to start changing here soon. But for right now, like I said, I need to know what I'm spending and how I'm spending it, and this is a perfect way for doing that, especially because I use my card all the time. So this is um, this section doesn't really get used. I know I'm using my card, but um, if it comes out of my bank account, um, if I use a cash or a credit card or a check or anything like that, I mark it over there, and I tell you if it's a need or a want, which right now everything is just whatever. So yeah, that is that. And let's go ahead and I'll show you how to put it into Excel. All right, you guys. So now we are at the part for the Excel sheet. And let me just fix this just a little. There we go. All right. So first we have our columns and I have week, category, and the amount. And the reason why I use week is because I get paid two times a month. And so I want to track within those paychecks how I'm spending. So I'm definitely using the weeks to do that. You can use just the month if you're just trying to see what you're spending in a month. And that is definitely okay. The next is the category. And then I put in the amount. And once we get there, we have to create our pivot table in order to create a pie chart. So you're just going to want to highlight all of your information. And you can do so by selecting command shift down. Or you can use control shift down if you're on a Windows computer. You're going to click insert up here at the top and pivot table will be that first option. This create pivot table button is going to come up. Don't have to change anything. Select OK. Once you get there, there's a pivot table builder and it has your week, your category and your amount on here. We're going to put the week into the filters, category into the rows. And amount and into values we can actually move this out the way because we won't need this anymore now that we have everything where it's at oh it looks like we have way too much and that's because I do a running total between August and September and October all of those will be running together but I want to see what I spent in September so I'm going to filter out everything but September and then here we go. Now we have what we need. I'm going to highlight all of this. I'm just dragging and clicking. And I'm going back to the home button and I want to put dollars with dollars. So I added dollar signs. 
Now, to create the pie chart, this is the kind of quickest way to do so. You're just going to highlight everything, all of your categories, and your dollar amounts. Be sure not to highlight rows and labels, some of the amount, and grand total and that actual total because if you do, it's going to create a little bit of drama for you um, trying to put your pie chart together. Okay, so you just want to put it together like this. You're going to click insert and you're going to go up to pie. Now you can definitely use a, a bar chart or anything else that you want to use, but I prefer to use the pie chart because it breaks it down by the percentages for me. So now here we have our pie chart and I'm just blowing it up. And as you can see, there's nothing really here. There is a um, guide down here for us, which is cool. I'm going to do the one that gives me my percentages and pumps them out with the categories as well. I like this one because it just makes it so much easier. I don't know, I'm, maybe I'm just a little bit weird, but I just like how it looks and how it makes everything jump out at me. So I just take a couple of these categories and I move them out just a little so that it's not all hunched together. And boom, there you go. You can see clearly my bills take up 52%, personal 9%, miscellaneous shopping, food 7%, Etsy bill, crafting, child care. My most highest expenses are personal expenses, bills, child care, and food. So this would tell me I need to find ways in October to reduce some of these variables. Like food is definitely a variable that I can reduce by spending more on groceries versus food because food is out to eat. And then I have my miscellaneous shopping. I can cut back on that. Like I want to see that reduced this next month. Um, crafting. I kind of can reduce this one. My Etsy bill, I can't. Um, Etsy shop, I can't reduce that one. I need that. Gas and car, that's something I can um, work on. Now that I have my new car, I can definitely see that going down some more with as far as my spending is concerned. And personal, that's really just um, things that I purchase for myself or that I purchase for someone else. Those are personal. So yeah, that's how you create your Excel pie chart and turn your paper into electronic. And then you can print this out and keep it with you and adjust it and just see what you need to do and how you need to do it. And I think this is the perfect idea. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini tutorial on how to work it into Excel. And I will catch you guys in the next one. KK, bye!